speak at a coaching clinic and such mutual respect, Sam, between those two. So much in common, and I think they're a little bit different, too, because, you know, Gus Bradley gets after it a little bit. On his very first pass. First and 10 from the 20. Winston goes play action. Rolls up on the run and hits his man. It's the tight end, Brandon Myers, the seventh-year man out of Iowa. They pick up 17 and a first down. And 12. First and 10 from just outside the 35. They'll give it to Martin. Running right as Martin able to cross the 40 and pick up a gain of full first career start. Second and six. Play action again from Winston and hits his target over the middle. It's Vincent Jackson, the three-time Pro Bowler. Two passes for Winston. Should make for easy reads for the rookie quarterback. First and ten. Here is Martin. Little cutback maneuver. Able to inch his way close to the 40. Cameron Great, the tight end, is the man in motion. Second and seven. This is Charles Sims. Bounces to the outside. And Sims runs for the first down as he on the other side of the field watches the other offense work early on. Little short pass on first and ten. Sims. Good first little back out of the backfield, showing you what he could do with his legs and a good pass catcher on that play. From the shotgun, Bucks have not scored a touchdown, by the way, in the first quarter of the game this season. Sims. As they Bobby Rainey split out at the top of your picture. Winston from the gun on third and three. Winston going to tuck it away, trying to get to the first down. Needed the 18-yard line. Longtime Bucks kicker signed back this week after the missed field goals by the rookie Kyle Brinzer and the team released. So Buck summoned for a 35-yard attempt. And the old Buck back at Raymond James Stadium. About seven yards deep in his own end zone. Good-looking kick from Barth. In the overtime defeat in Indianapolis. First and 10, T.J. Yeldon. The second round rookie buried in the backfield. His Jacksonville debut. Their prized offseason acquisition from Denver. Yeldon, little cutback, showing the shiftiness as he crosses the 25, picks up nine of those yards back. Bortles pump fakes, set. Penalty marker thrown behind the line of scrimmage. Wow. Illegal use of hands. Hands to the face offense, number 60. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. Back. If you can get pressure with four men rushing the quarterback, you're going to have a good day on defense. Brian Anger on a good-looking punt, and this one's going to take a Jacksonville bounce as Bobby Rainey helpless. First and ten. This is Martin going backwards. Telvin Smith having to step up in the absence of Paul Puzlesny and a good start for him. Their middle linebacker today. Winston from the gun. This is second and 12. Pocket starts to collapse. Little sidearm delivery. Nice maneuver by Martin. Catch and run, first down play for 50 yards. First and 10, play action. Winston airs it out far side of the field. It's caught. That's Mike Evans, the second year wide receiver. The 10 yards needed. It's a first and 10 from just out past the 37. Here is Martin sneaking inside Jaguars territory, getting downhill as they move the chains again. 14-yard burst from Martin. Winston gives to Martin on first and ten. This is Martin, has been the featured back so far as expected. Third and seven. Winston trying to sling it over the middle, intended for Jackson, but it falls incomplete, so the drive stalls. And it rears its ugly head on that sequence. Jacob Chum. As this one will take a Jaguars bounce. Bortles from the gun on first and ten. Zips a pass over the middle and it's caught. That's Julius Thomas. 
What an addition he is expected to be for Bortles in this offense. Quick strike. This is Allen Robinson with his first catch. Across the 35, they've got the first down, a pickup of nine. Protection and setting the blocking in the run game. This is T.J. Yeldon. Enter the day number one among all rookie running backs in yards. We have to maybe check to a pass. And you see the high usage of Yeldon till this point for Jacksonville. Second and eight. Bortles going to take his shot. Boy, he had Robinson. What an effort by the second-year receiver. It slips right through his fingertips. Third and eight. Bortles has time over the middle, completes. It's Alan Hearns inside Tampa Bay territory, down to the 39 as they burn him for 24 yards. Yeldon, the lone setback behind Bortles on first and 10. Quick drop, quick strike. Robinson makes the catch close to another Jacksonville first town, and what a, a tandem. Second and three, Bucks coming on the blitz. Yeldon trying to dance his way through some very tight space inside the 30. One. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to sneak their way. Multiple penalty markers come in either sideline, both sidelines, I should say. With 28 seconds left in the quarter. Outside, defense, number 77, lined up in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty. First down. Area of the field. Bucks trying to get over the line of scrimmage quickly. Yeldon trying to bounce to the outside. Sneaks inside the 25. Ninth play of the drive for Jacksonville. As we begin the second quarter, Bortles off of his back foot completes to Yeldon. Inside the 20. Yeldon bouncing off would-be tacklers. First down catch and run. Zone play this season at the bottom of the NFL. First and 10. Bortles from the gun. As time throw it end zone, it's caught. Allen Hearns for the Jacksonville touchdown. Right in the seam route. And this is just really going for more than maybe what the defense is going to give him. He really the season by Bortles in third touchdown reception for the second year man, Allen Hearns. Point after from Jason Myers is good. Red zone needed to be more precise, quicker and faster with the ball. He let it rip on that touchdown pass. Good looking kick. I formation set. Doug Martin takes the carry. Crosses the 20. That second guess. He's still going. Martin spinning his way inside Jacksonville territory and finally dragged out of bounds by Telvin Smith. 39 yards from Martin. Jackson in motion on first and 10. Winston going to air it out. Deep down the far side. Had his man and then it's incomplete. Excellent recovery as Evans the intended target. Second and ten. This is Martin. Martin. A lot of real estate. Inside the 25. Close to the 20. Cyprian brings him down. He's so up and down with their quarterback situation. As Cousins tries to get them what would be an enormous win. First and ten. A lot of questions, Salmon, about Doug Martin heading into the season. Second and eight. Play action. Winston set. Football comes loose. Still on the playing field, and it is recovered by Jacksonville. It's Telvin Smith. He's a lateral. He throws the ball, but he throws it backwards. So it's another rookie mistake. Doesn't protect the football in that situation. You just got to eat it. He tries to get rid of it, but the ball ends up going behind him. Roy Miller brings him down, and you can see arm is moving forward. James Stadium, and here's no Boger. For illegal contact on the play. The contact occurred when the quarterback, quarterback was outside of the pocket. The previous play is under review. After reviewing the play, the quarterback was down by contact at the 28 and one half yard line. It'll be third down at that spot. Roy Miller, so third and 18 as Winston works from the gun and another penalty marker whistles the play dead. Game will resume at some point, we promise. Snap infraction. Offense, number 68, five-yard penalty, still third down. At this point, just trying to get in the field goal range. This is Sims 
Button towards the left, close to the 25-yard line. Hunter Barth hit earlier from 35 yards out. On the attempt from 45, and this one has the distance, and it is perfect. Fisher, rest of our CBS crew from Raymond James Stadium. Some movement pre-snap. Didn't get too many penalty markers in the first quarter, but they're starting to pile All up. All-star. Offense, number 78, five-yard penalty, still first down. Quarterback at the age of 23 in the NFL. First and 15, this is Yeldon. Cuts back across the 20, and brought down at the 23 by Clinton McDonald, a pickup of eight. Actor, former running back, plays quarterback position with a different mentality. Second and seven, Bortles rolling out, and his pass sails away from him. Incomplete. Play clock down to two. Bortles from the gun, third and seven, buried. Howard Jones with his second sack. Zane Beatles, really good interior off the line, but still giving up the sack on Bortles. Good looking punt. And fielded inside the 30. Good looking run back from Rainey. Rainey! Plenty of open grass in front of him and finally dragged out of bounds inside the 20 by Demetrius McCray. 58 yards on the return from Rainey. It's just really good read and his ability to attack, get going downhill and find that soft spot. But you're talking about helping a young rookie quarterback like Jameis Winston. Big plays on special teams and on defense to put Winston on a short field. Bobby Rainey. Short field for Winston and company, first and 10 from inside the 20. Here's Martin finding the edge. Crosses the 15, brought down right at the 12-yard line by Telvin Smith. And wearing number 79, as you see Solomon point him out. Second and five. Rainey using some of that shiftiness, make it uh, Martin, I beg your pardon, getting himself to the 10. Winston under center on third and three. But a short pass is caught. Martin inside the five and into the end zone. Oh, you just love it. <laughs> He's sitting down. They were able to get blockers to level two. He does the rest. Breaks tackles, drags defenders into the end zone. Tough guy to tackle. We already said it right there, but look at him. Even the small running back. Yard catch to get himself into the end zone. First receiving touchdown of the year from Martin. Point after from Barth is good. But Martin, first receiving touchdown of the year. New time for Jameis Winston. His seventh touchdown pass. Struggled mightily last season. First and ten. This is Bernard Pierce on his first carry of the day. Gets the need to do offensively. Second and six. There's that one taken again by Pierce. Minimal gain, and they'll be faced with a third down. What does Olsen dial up here on a critical third and four? A hard count to draw him off sides. <laughs> Our referee today is Jerome Boger. Neutral zone infraction. Defense, number 56. Five-yard penalty results in a first down. Nation featuring Toby Gerhardt onto the field as the featured back for the first time. First and 10. That pass from Bortles is intercepted. Bradley McDougal on the pitch. Robinson coming over the middle of the field. Now let's go ahead and stop it right there. See, and if you're Bortles, he's wide open. You try to throw it out here, and then you throw it late, and then it's intercepted by Bradley Madugal. You've got to throw that ball to the open receiver. It's really about reading the defense. And inside Jacksonville territory. Keep it on the ground on first down. This is Sims, the second-year runner out of West Virginia. Second and six from inside the 40. Play action from Winston, all day to throw, fires far side, finds Myers the tight end. First down pass, good sign for Jacksonville, first and ten. 
Here's Sims. Cuts back. And he's buried in the backfield. Nice second effort as he reaches back for the 20. That'll get him back to the line of scrimmage. Tackle by Gross. Winston from the gun. Second and 10. Throws over the middle. It's caught. Evans inside the five. It'll be first and goal. And slow start for him this year. With the hamstring. That caused him to miss the opener in week one. First and goal. They keep it on the ground. Martin inches closer to the goal line. In motion. This is second and goal. And off. Take it. It's Martin into the end zone. He caught a touchdown earlier. And this time runs it in. As they capitalize on the Bortles pick. Right behind 79. Reed Fragle right there. Look at him driving it and that's where that ball is going to hit right inside the end zone so really good game planning right now by dirt cutter lovey smith they understand they needed to get more weight on and today playing without its best player their pro bowl and logan mankins out with a groin injury what a performance they've had offense defense and special teams 20 to 7 tampa bay as they will play it, this is Corey Grant from about five yards deep in his own end zone. Crosses the 20 and tripped up at the 22. As Bortles, how does he react now after that interception? His fourth of the season on the last drive with a short pass caught by T.J. Yeldon. 11 straight road defeats. Tampa Bay, an 11-game home losing streak. Second and two, Bortles going to run out of the pocket. One on the run, completes over the middle. That's Brian Walters with only his seventh reception of the season. Coverage from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. He's got to be able to find some seams. Bortles set again. Bartle steps up in the pocket, going to tuck it away and run it. Inside Tampa Bay territory, crosses the 40, first down burst. It's back on their heels. Jaguars with two timeouts left. Bartle's on first and 10, fires over the middle, it's caught. That's Walters for his second catch of the drive. Oh, he is dealing at this moment. Bartle's pass incomplete. Again, Jaguars with two timeouts. Bortles fakes the handoff. Fires end zone caught. Allen Robinson wide open for the touchdown. Double high safety. They find it wide open over the middle of the field. Says Allen Robinson. Look at him sit right there. Fake like he was going out, but still went over the second year wide receivers. Where the touchdown catch in his first half. We'll see how they handle it. And if they can get Jameis Winston some decent field position, this one will go out of bounds. And boy, Sama, just when Jason Myers was starting to pick up some momentum, well, that is just something that cannot happen, especially at this stage of the half. No, because you give him the ball at the 40-yard line, and you can get something going. Six-point lead for the Buccaneers. With all three timeouts in their back pocket. Quick strike is caught. This is Dante Dye. Side to their active roster this week. And now penalty marker. Timeout, wow. Tampa Bay. There's throw. first. Buccaneers burning a timeout. But uh, there's a flag on the Jacksonville sideline. It was a 13-yard play on the catch from Dye. I like the bubble screen plays, to. Try to jump start your offense, see if you can get something going. An eligible player downfield. Mm. Offense, number 78. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Tampa Bay is not charged their timeout. Winston, 8 of 10 for 104 yards and a touchdown. Well play here. This is Charles Sims. So after the penalty, Salmon, and Lovey Smith. He'll just kind of wave the white flag and bring his troops off the field. Toughen up. Without a doubt, <laughs> happy birthday, brother. Happy belated birthday from uh, from the entire crew. As Jacksonville takes possession, a nifty run back by Corey Grant coming up the sideline as he crosses the 30, just outside their own 35. Bortles quick drop back over the middle, completes. That's Allen Robinson who had the touchdown catch on the board. Their undrafted rookie gets his first look. 
on an offensive snap. That's Corey Grant, who just had that pretty run back, a 40-yard return on the opening kick. Danny Lansana on the tackle, but not before he picks up 11 and a first down. Until this point, play action on first and 10. They protect for Bortles. Over the middle, it's caught. Hearns. Penalty marker comes in in the Tampa Bay secondary. If it stands, it's a 24-yard pass play. Our referee today, if you've just joined us, is Jerome Boger. There are two fouls on the play, one against each team. Illegal formation, offense, number 85, the tight end was covered up. Pass, inter pass interference, defense, number 24. Those fouls are all set, replay first down. First and 10 from the shotgun. Bortles completes with a swinging pass to Yeldon. And the rookie making guys miss. 36th overall selection in the draft. Early second round. Tackle themselves back into the game. Green Yeldon on second and seven. Yeldon finds daylight. First down run and more. Block defender. Yeldon gets a blow. Toby Gerhardt. It's a rare opportunity. Fights his way close to the 30. DJ Swearinger now in Green for Conte. He drops in the box. Play action from Bortles on second. Eight. That pass deflected. And a dangerous sequence for Jacksonville. See is Thomas here. Thomas making his Jacksonville debut. Third and eight. Bortles buying himself an extra second. Fires completes. And there he is. It's Thomas. Multiple penalty markers thrown. It's a first down play if it stands. They were all thrown in the secondary. I saw a lot of collisions beyond that five-yard boundary where you're able to collide with them. Before the pass was thrown, illegal hands to the face. Defense, number 28. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is the first time. It's on Tim Jennings. This was Thomas each of the last two years as a member of the Broncos. This is Yeldon. Dances inside the 15. And Green is up. What an addition he is to this offense. Second and eight play action. Bortles fakes the pass left, rolls out. He's just going to throw it out of bounds. As they'll be faced with a third and eight here. The coverage breakdown and one of your receivers can get over. Two tight ends, Lewis and Thomas on third and eight. Bortles throwing in zone too high and incomplete. The intended receiver was Mercedes Lewis, their longtime tight end. Is who missed those two potential game winning picks. Last Sunday in Indianapolis. This time is perfect from 31 yards out. From Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay. Bobby Rainey will not play it. Takes a knee and for this defense today. First and 10. Woo! The ground, what a juke step by Doug Martin. Stiff arms a would-be tackler right at the 30. Team carries. Sunday, Sunday. Also a rushing and receiving touchdown for Mark. Offense number 79. Yeah. Five-yard penalty. That's our Still guy. Still first down. When Fragel's in that tight end. Winston after the penalty from the gun on first and 15. Far side, it's caught. Martin has been there. Do everything back till this point. Tackled by Cyprian and House. Winston on second and three. That pass is caught. Mike Evans. Sucks, aren't they? All these penalties bringing back big plays. Ali Marpet, their rookie from Division Three Hobart, is called on a holding penalty. And all things considered, they've been impressive with some of those penalties notwithstanding. And now it is a flag fest. Well, man in position. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Still wow. sucking now. And he still, I should say, the same infraction one week ago. Second and eight. Martin is blown up in the backfield, and that's the kind of push uh, Jacksonville was looking for on that play. One of the advantage of this vulnerable offensive line. Get pressure on the quarterback. Third and nine. Winston set. Big loss as Aaron Colvin buries him in the backfield. Off the edge. Jacob Schumann. 
college player at Buffalo. Nick Marshall will play it from his own 31. Stumbles close to the 40. One turn, my friend. Three point Jacksonville deficit. Blake Bortles back on the field. First and 10. Good looking strike. Finds Allen Robinson right at the 50. They pick up a dozen. Bortles to get the complete. See Bortles' numbers at the top of your screen. First and 10. Here's Yeldon. Finds the edge inside Tampa Bay territory. Awful to see. Jamal Charles, one of the most dynamic players in the NFL. Certainly hope that he's okay. As Yeldon is brought down after a minimal gain by George Johnson, the fourth year man, actually dump him for a loss of two. Third and four. Bortles completes. First down, it's Alan Hearns. Penalty marker thrown. 12 yards on the catch. Rough day for Tim Jennings. Jennings making a second straight start for the injured Jonathan Banks. Pass interference. Defense, number 28. Spot of foul. Automatic. First down. Two-time Pro Bowler in Chicago. One of those coming under Lovey Smith. First and 10. Bortles finds his man Robinson. Inside the 15, close to the 10. First and 10, just outside the 10. Bortles quick struck over the middle. It's Walters. Walters, who entered the day just six receptions. That's his third in this game. Good start for him here. Where does he go on second and four? Bortles goes through his progressions. Rolls out. Pump fakes. Throws end zone. It is caught. Touchdown. T.J. Yeldon from six yards out. And you love the fact that they're able to at least buy some time as he escapes. And that's how he gets open. But only after Bortles is able to extend time, draws the coverage to him, and then watch him uncover at the next level inside the end zone. Yeldon to get open. T.J. Yeldon, his first career touchdown, had been the only player in the NFL. Adjustments are going to play better here in the second half. Which of these two long streaks will end? Tampa, 11 straight losses at home. Jacksonville, an 11 game road losing streak. Chris Fisher, rest of our CBS crew from Tampa Bay. First and 10, Winston feeling the heat. Six, still on his feet. Jameis Winston, the escape artist. How did he elude that play? Where we go? Second and 10. This is Sims. Finding the edge, spins across the 25. Nifty run. 36 yard line. Now we got a late flag that's been thrown. It looks like it may go against the Bucks. Illegal formation. Offense. When the wide receiver shifted, he left number 74 uncovered on the line of scrimmage. Well, that's five about yard his... penalty. Replay. Second down. Now. Second and 15. Winston from the gun. That pass is deflected. Easy to read. Let him cut it loose. Have struggled mightily on third down this season as you saw. Sims, little screen pass. Sims across the 35. Still going. Plenty of open grass in front of him as Telvin Smith with a touchdown saving tackle. Into the flat. And this is just great blocking up front. Watch the convoy of blockers out front. To get him to the next level. Now he's got the first down, but still blocking by the receivers on Devon House. Look at that. Just a really good block there. And for this Tampa Bay offense. First and 10. Martin lowers his shoulder, gets inside the 30. The first year offensive coordinator. Under a minute left in the quarter. Winston's going to take the shot. Far side of the field incomplete. Intended for Mike Evans. You have not faced a team with this kind of height along their wide receiving core. Third and ten. Winston slings it over the middle. Incomplete. Unable to connect with Vincent Jackson. And now House appears to be injured. Two is hit from 35 and 45. This one from 47. Set a franchise record back in 2011 with a 93% conversion rate on field goals. And he is perfect. Barth lines it up and boots it away. This one is playable by Grant. Crosses the 15. 
third from the back. And he's able to get to just inside the 20. 23 moving on the ground. This is the pitch to Grant Fumble in the play. Football loose. It's picked up, recovered by Tampa Bay, and they're into the end zone. Take a look. Penetration. He comes in unblocked. George Johnson, 94, just barrels right into the rookie running back. That's Corey Grant. He loses the ball, and they're able to scoop and score. Jacquee Smith, 56. Look at that. Falls on it, still gets up, and lunges in for the touchdown. Right in the face of the rookie, and I think that distracted him and caused the fumble. They're going for two. Winston throwing in zone, and they convert Vincent Jackson. What a swing after the fumble recovery for a touchdown. Corey Grant back onto the field will take a knee. They're able to put those points in the void. Yeldon done for a loss. The Tampa as well. First play of the foot, short screen pass to Yeldon. Trying to fight his way close to the 20, and that's... No. No, 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 no. No. Third and 11, Bortles feeling the pressure set again. Levante David getting there for Tampa Bay. Oh, he said they had to contain him. Did an excellent job on that play. Fourth time they've gotten to Bortles, second. The first sack of the season, I should say, for David and the 11th of his career. Rady looking for another long return. Zigzags his way inside Jaguars territory. 25 yards. And boy, has he been lethal on those returns this afternoon. Doug Martin, back-to-back 100-yard games. High formation set, takes the handoff from Winston. And once again, I don't think you could talk enough about this Tampa Bay offensive line over the middle. As Martin continues to churn out yardage. We'll get him for a minimal loss as he tries to get himself back to the line of scrimmage. Empty backfield. Winston from the gun. Pump fakes. Gonna throw it. Completes. Sims. First down catch. Keep it on the ground. This is Sims. As he tries to work his way to the 20. So Jameis Winston. Second and seven, Winston. Play action. Gonna run it. Tucks it away and takes a vicious hit. At the back of that play, first and arm brister. Pitch play to Sims. Sims finds the edge. Lunges in zone. And he's knocked out of bounds. Touchdown saving play by Jonathan Cyprian. 26th in the NFL in terms of touchdown conversion rate. Second and one. Winston throwing end zone. Incomplete. Penalty marker thrown right around the two. Brandon Myers, their oh, intended yeah. target. Defense, number 37. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Look that up. Sims. Lunges end zone. No signal yet. Winston clamoring for the call. And he didn't get it. Put that up. Martin lunges over the pile and he's into the end zone. It's a three touchdown day for Doug Martin. Second on the ground. Of line. Take a look. They collapse the entire left side of the Jacksonville Jaguars defensive line. Look at that. They just collapse it all. And Doug Martin over the top. Healthy again. Talked about the rigorous offseason training program that he undertook out in California and Santa Ana. The end zone for the touchdown. And it has been all Buccaneers since that point up split out top of your picture on first and 10 from the 20. Borders. This uh, pass incomplete intended for Mercedes Lewis. Second and 10. 
Completion over the middle. They'll pick up six. Buckshot blitz. Bortles has his man, and he overthrew him. Robinson was open. Um, and you know better than anyone, these games most of the time come down to one or two critical plays. And a missed opportunity there for Blake Bortles in Jacksonville. Rainey has had a fantastic day on the returns. Penalty flag thrown behind the play. 47-yard punt, 10 yards on the return. As we get the call from Jerome Bulger, appears to be against Tampa Bay. During the return, illegal block in the back. Receiving team, number 17. 10-yard penalty. Tampa Bay keeps the ball. First down. An immediate timeout after you make the back. Still have the two-minute warning, of course, down the road. As Doug Martin, if you've just joined us, back-to-back 100-yard -back games. Blue Whitey! What is that? Winston taking as much clock as he can. Martin trying to cut back. And he'll lose a couple. Complete. Doug Martin lined up in the slot, top of your screen, third and eight. Winston over the middle, completes. Huge first down to Mike Evans as they pick up 14. Economical today, 12 of 18 for just under 200 yards. And a touchdown. First down run by Martin. And now the football comes loose. That's when we talk about it. No signal yet from the officials. And... Tampa Bay recovers the football. A lot of time coming off the clock. Second and six. This is Charles Sims, who's had a big day, and it gets bigger. And he ran out of bounds. Jacksonville territory. Why would you run out of bounds there? You got to keep it in the field of play if you're Charles Holding. Sims. Offense, number 74. 10 yard penalty. Replay, second down. So off the clock from Jacksonville. Jaguars sitting on those three timeouts. Sims getting to the 40, so you're surprised that uh, Bradley has not at least used one of those timeouts. Winston's going to throw. Short pass is caught. Sims. Amos Winston under center. First and 10. Just inside Jaguars territory. Martin, minimal pickup. From the Jaguars, 45. And off to Martin. What a day he's had. Three touchdowns, two on the ground. 24 rushes for over 120 yards. Jacksonville desperately needing a stop here to give themselves any chance. Third and three, Sims. So Jacksonville's defense able to get the push that they needed, tackled by Avery Jones. As the Buccaneers trying to get in position. Walters is going to play, and he is met by a wall of Tampa Bay Bucks. Looking for a drive starter. First and ten, Bortles goes through his reads over the middle, hits Hearns. First down catch, brought down just short of the 30, a pickup of 15. Bortles on first and ten, again over the middle of the field, that'll... Keep the clock going. Try to get one more play before the two-minute warning. Right now down 14. Buccaneers coming to the blitz, and they get to Bortles for their fifth sack. Go. To eliminate that option. Go. No timeouts for the Jaguars. Second and 15. Bortles somehow escapes the sack. At least for the moment, rolls out. Throws back across the field, and boy, that one nearly picked. Trying to find Toby Gerhardt. Bucks defense settling back, Bortles on third and 15, flushed out, tripped up, and he's going down again. Guess it's Gerald it. McCoy for his second sack on this drive. On this drive in the fourth quarter. Fourth and 18, no choice but to go for it. Pass from Bortles, is caught, it's Hearns! Inside the 10 and brought down. An incredible defensive breakdown by Tampa Bay. And then watch Quan Alexander coming from the middle of the field after the missed tackle. Look at Quan Alexander, 58, giving chase. It's a linebacker running down a receiver. 
First and goal, pass from Bortles, caught, Robinson, touchdown! They go right at Tim Jennings, and this one not over just yet. He's hanging in there, talking about willing your team to victory, make throws like that. And then the catch for Robinson over Jennings. You know Jennings is right in his lap. Just plucks the ball right off the head of Tim Jennings, still able to haul it in for a touchdown. Great catch by Robinson. He's for the 59-yarder. That sets up the touchdown catch by Allen Robinson. Point after from Jason Myers. And Myers lines up. Onside kick. It is recovered. Fielded by Vincent Jackson. As Tampa Bay will go and just take a knee here. There you go. First home victory for Tampa Bay since week 14 of 2013. A home win against Buffalo. And for Lovey Smith, finally his first home victory as Buccaneers head coach. Coming up next, Patriots, Cowboys, or some of you will see the Broncos and the Raiders. Now for Solomon Wilcox, Chris Fisher, Spiro Dina saying so long from Tampa Bay.